بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه من ولا أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال تبارك وتعالى كما ورد في سورة آل عمران يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي وجعل لي وزيرا من أهلي آمين يا رب العالمين I was preparing to actually give a speech on how to avoid being pessimistic, how to be optimistic. Um, and then on Wednesday, I guess we had this uh, COVID vaccination and I spoke with few people, I answered their question and some of them were shocked. Oh, Imam, our fasting will still be valid if you will take vaccination. And I thought that maybe the priorities of us right now are messed up completely. So let's focus on something else. Let's focus on the world of heart. Because at the end of the day, woman at Allah bi qalbin salim, if you don't have a sound heart, heart clean of trash and garbage in spiritual sense, then you won't go to Jannah. So many times when you pay attention to these principles about if I take nasal spray or eye drop, will it invalidate my fast? These are important things. Remember that I'm teaching fiqh in this community for the last two years. So fiqh is extremely important. But what about changing the heart situation in this Ramadan? which is extremely important. And if I would say it's more important, then I won't be exaggerating. So let's focus on world of hearts. I might be a little unorganized because I just got a chance to see whatever I can see from the, from the books of his scholars, but try to please pay close attention. So as a human being, we have two components within us. One is body, the other one is soul, ruh. Both are important, both are important. And that's why we have to, Islamically speaking, have to take care of both. You have to work out, you have to go to gym, you have to stay in shape, you have to take care of your body, you have to eat healthy, you have to take care of the body. And that is part of taking care of your soul also. But then you have to make sure, because in the Western world, like in America, most of the people are in shape, let's say if they are in gym, but the soul is in coma. So you have to feed the soul, you have to nourish the soul. And let me give you my example, just I don't want to be sound too philosophical. Right now you can see Imam Asif Hirani is standing in front of you. I have my body and I have my soul within me. You can call me, people call me Imam Asif Hirani, Asif Hirani, brother, Akh, Bhai Asif Hirani, Sheikh Asif Hirani, Dr. Asif Hirani. The moment my soul will be taken away, you know what I will become? And the moment my body will transfer from funeral home to the masjid for janazah, and then my body will transfer from masjid to the cemetery. All these titles will go away and I will become body. Where is that body? These title I worked so hard to get. This brand I worked so hard to get. All of this will go and my soul will be taken away. Where is body? Oh, it's released from the hospital. Where is body? It's just arriving from the funeral home. That's what the reality is. So both are important, body and soul. But if you ask from an Islamic perspective, we have to say soul is more important than the body. I'll give you a lighter example to understand before we can focus on fixing the heart. We have, an, we have two worlds within us. One is, one is the external world, Zahir, and one is the world of our heart, internal world. Islam being the most balanced, natural way of life gave us instructions for both these worlds. So Islam says certain things are haram for our external world. And then at the same time, Islam have said that there are certain things haram for your heart. Most of us does not pay attention to the matters of the heart because we cannot see that. We can see body, but you cannot see soul. You can see appearance, but you cannot see what we are carrying in our heart. So most of us ignore what we cannot see. You can focus on dunya because you can see in front of you, but we forget akhirah because we cannot see. Praying five times a day, is it obligatory? Yes. It's related to our external world. Zina, girlfriend, boyfriend relationship, it's haram? Yes. It's related to our external world. Please pay close attention. Drugs, drinking, is it haram? Yes, it's related to our external world. And may Allah protect all of us and our kids from this. Amin, Ya Rabbi. 
Now let's focus on to the world of heart. Arrogance, that feeling that you are better than others. Jealousy, that feeling that whenever someone is praised in front of you, you don't feel comfortable. Is this haram? Yes. But do we pay attention? No. Is this big haram? Yes, major haram. This was the crime of Iblis. <laughs> but do we pay attention? No. And there is a reason why we don't pay attention to this world of dunya, a world of heart. There's a reason for it. Because when you are not praying, your friend will remind you, dude, this haram, pray. If you are doing zina, your friend will see you say, no, 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 just make it halal. If you are doing drugs, your parents will find out. They are going to make sure you are staying away from drugs. Because you can see that. But the problem with the diseases of the heart, arrogance, jealousy, the urge of recognition, the urge of titles, the urge of fame, the problem with these diseases is that you are not even aware that you are carrying those diseases. It's like cancer. You don't even know you are carrying a cancer. You don't even know you are carrying a coronavirus to start with. That's what makes it more dangerous. If you know it's a disease, then you can solve it. But most of us does not even know. And that is a recipe of making us a big hypocrite. Munafiq. Why? Because you will see a perfect appearance of the person. Nice in masjid, smiling, pope, tajweed, five times salah. Everything is nice. Nice hijab with sister. But on the inside, they have this monster. They are not even aware of this monster. This only comes out when someone pokes them. Or when they are alone, no one is looking at them. And that makes us perfect hypocrite. When you don't pay attention to the world of heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the ability to pay attention to that. Ameen ya Rab. Subhanallah, it took only 10 minutes to introduce this topic. <laughs> Inshallah, one day we will have a class, how to clean your heart on Tazkiyah. Because just like fiqh is important, legality of apparent world, similarly, these issues are also very important. But why I'm bringing this issue? If you feel, if you feel negative, negativity in your heart when someone is being praised in front of you, it means that your heart is struggling with jealousy. Fix your heart. These are the things which you won't see apparently, but you will feel that why I'm not feeling comfortable when this brother or sister is praised in the community. It means that you have level one jealousy, stage one jealousy. You are being diagnosed with that. Fix it. If you feel negative and someone is being successful, someone is being driving a new car and someone is getting a good job and you are not feeling comfortable, it means your heart is struggling. Your heart is struggling. Fix it. If you, if, if you feel that you are better than others the moment you will come into the masjid or go into your family gatherings, you are a better speaker, you are a better imam, you are a better this, you are a better that, then it means you are struggling with arrogance in your heart. No one will see that. You will realize that. Fix it. It's as important as fixing the apparent issues, if not more. And that's why Rasulullah says, That if you have ounce, atom weight of kibr, arrogance in your heart, you cannot go to Jannah. Why I'm discussing this with you, I'll conclude, inshallah, because I only have two, three minutes left. First, inshallah, as I told you one day, inshallah, we can, after Ramadan, we can have a complete course on this because this is an important topic. Ramadan is coming. Ramadan is coming. And I know, subhanAllah, we will focus too much on Imam Asif. If I will take eye drop, will my fast valid or not? If I will take COVID vaccine, is my fasting is still valid or not? And this is important. I'm not undermining the importance of this issue, please. If you know I'm teaching fit for such a long time in this community. But you know what is more important while I give this Ramadan? To nourish our soul, to nurture our heart to clean our heart. If you have these evil diseases in your heart, if you have arrogance, jealousy, the urge of feeling better than others, the urge of recognition and fame and all these things, the love for this dunya, then you have serious issues. You have filth in your heart. You have trash in your heart. 
how can Allah, how can you place Allah in that heart which have so much trash, man? Inna Allah jamil yuhibbu jamal. Allah is beauty and loves beauty. You cannot put Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that ugly place. Focus on fixing the issues of heart. And you might think that this entire idea of fixing the heart might be too philosophical. I'll actually tell you one or two hadiths before I can end the khutbah. Because his entire concept was given by Rasulullah sallallahu himself. Rasulullah sallallahu says, مَن لَمْ يَدْعَ قَوْلَ الزُّورُ وَالْعَمَلَ بِي مَن لَمْ يَدْعَ قَوْلَ الزُّورُ وَالْعَمَلَ بِي فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَ فِي أَنْ يَدْعَ تَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ أَخْرَجُ الْبُقَارِ فِي الصَّحِيمِ He says, if you cannot leave evil habits, if you cannot leave evil habits, then Allah is in no need of your fasting. <laughs> it doesn't mean be pessimistic and leave fasting. It means be optimistic and leave those bad habits. Legally speaking, your fasting will be valid if you stay away from food and drink. Even if you backbite, remember Jad gave khutbah last week? Even if you backbite, you will get sin. But legally, from the Sharia perspective, if you don't eat and drink, your fasting will be valid. You don't have to repeat that. But from a spiritual sense, it's useless. It's useless. You are leaving halal things, eating and drinking, and you cannot avoid haram things. <laughs> and that is why I will conclude with this hadith. Where Rasulullah says in Ibn Majah, Rubba Sayyam Laysam min Sayyam min Sayyami illa al Ju'a. There are so many people. There are people who will fast and they, would, they won't get anything from their fasting except hunger. No spiritual benefits. And then there are people who will pray Tarawi. They won't get anything illa Sahar except sleepless night because they are not getting anything in their heart. Let's focus to change our heart, inshallah. Let's focus to take out our heart from the darkness. And move that to the noor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this Ramadan, inshallah. Allahumma ansuri al Islam wa al Muslimin. Allahumma ansuri al Khazal adin Muhammad in sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma ansuri al Islam wa al Muslimin. 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 Allahumma 